Great. Welcome to my back room here. All right, we're going to go through the rest of them. And uh, these are all... Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, Evelyn Warren, the new dress. Great piece. Cardoza Nicholas, that big piece had... Uh, he had, he had a uh, solo show at the Cape Cod Museum of Art. Hadn't heard of him before. Um, this is just a nice one of quite a few. You know, I'm going to turn these off. This is... There you go. Um, dune scenes that we have. This is Ward, another good dune scene. Then we have that still life, unknown. Joseph Alexander, he does well. Love that velvet jacket. This is the last of the Soul Wilsons. And there is Laverne Christopher up here. All right, unknowns. Imagine that's Truro, and then here is the Hoffman Studio, that one. Gertrude Yos or Yos or Gay Yos is how she used to go by. This is Miriam Freed. It's a wood panel, oil on wood panel. Right, come on over here. This is the quintessence. I mean, it's a, it's it's the Helen Sawyer masterpiece. I mean, it's just just incredible, just incredible. I kid you not. All right, that is an air conditioner. How exciting. There's one of two Brenda Silva's. Nice shape. Love this piece, even though it's got quite a bit of a staining and stuff, but both Jim and I just, we love it. Uh, for some reason, that's just an unknown. Coming down here, this is just an abstract musical piece. And great Olga Sears, George's Drapes, and then the George Swanson's, a lot of two. All right, here is Gladys Wilcox. Love this. Dunes, water, beautiful. Ada Rayner, still life. All right, lots to see over here. Okay, Andrews, big piece, big piece. Uh, stepping back again, just so you get some context. Look at all, there's my table, there's the floor. And there it is up there, all right? Again, this is for all those people who can't see these. These are the cute Susan Baker masks. That's a lot. Here is Susan Baker, Doggett. Again, she had a Provincetown dog book. I think it might have benefited the um, Provincetown dog park. There is Romantic, get it? Cute, cute. Ignore the phone, and uh, there is Cape Cod Mirror. Now this cannot hang uh, because it, it has to lean. There is no hanger, just FYI. This is after Dorothy Lake Gregory. Um, it is not by her, but you can know she did a, uh, a print of this. This is part of a lot of three, Peter Hunt style. Here are the other pieces of that. This has quite a bit of paint loss and then that little tray. All right. Whew. Donald Witherstein, etching. There is the other box, Peter Hunt box. Little small Paul Bowen watercolor. This is, I forget what his name. Oh no, it's Paul Bowen, duh. I love that though. Uh -huh. All right, low. Monoprints. Another Ray Nolan. This is cute because it's got a picture of Ray back there. Cat CF Monoprint. Mary Ahern. Tabitha Beavers. God, I love her work. Okay, called The Knife. And then we come over here and see another version called The Blessing. Okay, then we've got. Um, Herbert, um, yeah, I forget a first name. Um, you'll figure it out. Uh, and then this is just another little can't uh, a Bart, but uh, it's just listed as unknown called near Provincetown. There, um, someone just told me that that's actually an Alona. Beautiful. We had sold one similar to that before. Then is another uh, Joseph Alexander. Lovely, Zavorkas. This is a uh, Vonder Vonder Height. Never had his. It's a great piece. Paul Reska. That's under tissue paper. 
one of two Howard Mitchums. Cute. There's the other one. Second of the Brenda Silvas. This is a Trist. These are great. Man, collage is just incredible in these. Fascinated by that. Okay, this is a beautiful House of Seven Gables, Dorothy Lake Bravery, hand colored silver gelatin print. Then we have the two Michael Landis pieces. Well, I got cut off, so I'm splicing these together. A little John Gregory silver gelatin photo. Cute, cute. Here's my hand. Context. Small. Still life. Carl Kness. Uh, Jackson Lambert. That's uh, a nice piece. It all goes together. Frame. All right. Then case line. Uh -huh. This is Carl Kness print. Whoa. All right. Joseph Edwards Alexander. Selling a lot of his. Great piece. This is that Florence Brillinger. Let me turn off these lights. Much glare. There we go. I uh, showed you that last week. Okay. John Gregory, or excuse me, John Hare. One of two. Morris Cantor. Two. Donald Witherstein Woodblock Prince. This one has some gloom, but it's on the glass on the reverse. And that is the other one, Rooftops Provincetown. Schokler, again, one of my favorite etchers, just has a different feel to it than all the other etchings. Uh, Heim Gross, Wonderlick, don't know Paul. Um, it's actually a pretty well-known artist. Maud Morgan, self-portrait, again, stepping back to give you some size context. All right, Tina Dickey, Woodblint, or Woodblock. Poor, I must be the cat, Max, who died in memoriam. He's so cute. Uh, okay, Elizabeth Warren. So now all these prints, I went online, these are all from Nappy, basically, and they are just in great condition, amazing. Mary, um, oh, I forget, it begins with a C. Coulter, I think, gorgeous. And I looked online and I'm like, we haven't sold any, I've never seen them. I don't know how Nappy managed to get all these unique prints. It's Morgan Dennis, Adele. I love the matte job that they did on that one. And this one, it's a big Bicknell. You don't usually have Bicknells that size. John Gregory Lithograph. Again, did a nice job matting and framing that. Blakeman. Again, I don't mind when foxing is uniform like that, especially when the print is so cool. That is a Bucknell Provincetown. Billy May, served silver gelatin. Arthur Cohen, Captain Bill, hand-colored etching. All right, favorite etching, favorite print in the auction. C. Dodge is the name, don't know anything about it, but I just, it reminds me of Harry Skokler. It's just, the, it's a different style. It's looser than the other etchings. William Bankin, nice piece. Everybody knows those rocks. And that is Elizabeth Warren. All right, so I keep pressing the button and it keeps stopping my recording. All right, that is Miriam Fried called Keisha Two. Beautiful piece. That is uh, Boswell, attributed to, um, is it Boswell? Yes, great. Totem has a few little condition issues, uh, could be touched up very easily. That's the portrait of Garrett Benneker, circa 1915. Oh, okay, George Swanson. More of these lovely gents. Dorothy Loeb. Like I'm calling that their eyes are watching God. All right, Hughes, beautiful Highland Light piece, stepping back. All right, these are the Gordon Grants. And for context. All right, we're finishing up here. Uh, Brow is the name, Francis, I believe. It's from the 50s, that surfer dude. It's got a small, small, small tear somewhere right here. Uh, Cindy Sherman, that is one famous, uh, iconic uh, sh uh, photo um, that she did. 
Um, and it's beautifully done with the uh, signature here in red. All right, unknown horses would block print. Unknown, these are in, let's just say terrible condition, but it's sort of cool because it's completely uniform. It's tons of paint loss, but they're really very cool and very appealing. Unknown yellow house, almost looks like Bruce McCain. A unknown dune. Another unknown dune. Another unknown dune. Charles DiCarlo, that's Rockport. Mary Spencer Nay, Olive Trees. This is Dorothy Lake Gregory called 3AM. Totally cute. Mm, bobble. Stern look. And finally, Murray's Stern. I think that's everything, plus a lot of books. And there you go. Okay, preview all weekend here in the gallery.